So, this tutorial is done for Esme, but it can be helpful for everybody of us. Um, I received some uh, an email from Esme. She sent me a sound, a picture, and uh, I put them together in order to make a 60 second clip. So, the first thing I have to do is to be to be on After Effects. Then I go to import all the pictures. How can I do? It's just importation file. Then you can see some pictures all together, 60 picture, which is a video. This is the base for a video. So I click here and I ask on tick in the box sequence importation jpeg so it means that all the pictures from this file will be recorded in one clip so i do import now if i play this you can see it's a very fast clip it's exactly 60 pictures in two seconds and a half but I my clip must be 20, uh, 60 seconds so I create a new composition which is called Esme Work or Esme Project and I do it in HDTV 1080 by 25 frames per second large 19,020 then frame by seconds 25 and square pixel is very very important tick on square pixels I keep a red background to make sure that everything in my picture will be okay because red is unusual So let's do that. Now, the Esme project, I click twice to make sure that I see it. You see now, Esme project is unlighted. Then I drag and drop my previous clip. And as I told you, this clip is larger than the size of my uh, efficient clip, my project clip, and it's shorter in time. If I do that, I just I can play it, and you can see this is a part of the picture. So it means that I have to set up for the time and the geometry, the size. The geometry is very easy. You remember that I quote about the Adobe functional principle tool. Just open the under menu, always with a little triangle or an arrow. You can find that everywhere in the Adobe system. So now, as it is larger than uh, my frame, I just go on scale and I reduce the size of my pictures until it fits 
in my frame. And you understand how the red background or green background, whatever, but with a very uh, evident color can be useful. So now Esme has a normal size video ready to go. But the, the other problem now that I see is that um, the frame is not uh, very adapted to the geometry. So maybe she will have to do it again. To have a better geometry has a better light. But anyway, this is not the most important point. Now the most important point is that you are able to make import import as a sequence and to create the right project to put your sequence in your project. Now what's about the time? We have an issue. Our clip is shorter than our project. So I just unlight my clip and I go to layers. Calc in French. So I go to time and time extension. And now I can ask After Effect to extend the time to 60 seconds. And that's it. And now I can play the video. So this is this could be quite okay. I have only several issues with that. The geometry, maybe the infinite loop is too much on the left. So it could be better to have it like that. And maybe we don't have enough pictures. So that would demand Esme to reapply her work and to make a new experience to make the stop motion working better and getting more fluent. Or uh, does she needs to have another kind of light or another kind of frame? How whatever, it needs to be reapplied. Uh, re so I just put this on the right situation, and you can see that the both shoot for one clip because she gave me two clips in one. So this also needs to be uh, sync and reorganized. But anyway, let's think that is quite okay and we are satisfied with that. How do I proceed to make a video? I go to composition and just goes to the render queue. On the render queue, you can see it's unlighted now, and you don't mind about this. We shall see that better when we, you will be much more comfortable with the software. But goes here, output module. So you clip twice. And you can have your quick time sequence. And after you can choose your codec for output. Actually, I don't have my uh, H264 codec, but it doesn't mind. Uh, I will have another solution. But that's the way you make your pictures. 
So you can keep animation is a full frame without compression and uh, video. That ensure you to have the best quality you can have. Then it's done. Browse to make sure that you have the sound also. And I forget to put the sound. So I need to import the sound. So I go back to, I, uh, I remove that. And I go back to import the sound. The sound is here. I have two sounds, the brief and the drawing noise. So that's OK. And I go to Esme project. I close the pictures, then drag and drop the sound. And as you can see, there are only 30 seconds length. So I have to couple or to, co to copy this. Let's go. And I just drag and drop. And now I have the sound. So I am sure that everything will be OK. So now what's happened? I need to go to composition, add to render queue, go to output module, select QuickTime, keep animation actually, then look at the output of the sound, 48 kilohertz is good. 16 bits is good, stereo is good. So I don't have to touch it. Then I make OK. And now I can choose the file where I put my project. Is here. Is my project trial. Let's go. And now click on render. And it can go very fast. So it's transforming 60 pictures in 100, uh, 1100 pictures. We need two minutes for that. Now we are nearly done, just nine seconds. And uh, we can browse in our repertory. Let's go. And here is my ESME project trial. So you can see that the move, six, uh, one second, uh, one minute in move, is can be eight giga. And if you reduce it in AP, uh, H264, MP4, it can be just 56 megas. So no need to have a, uh, so much big file. And uh, I will show you later on, or it's depend on your equipment, if you have H.264 uh, in your After Effect output, you can use it. But if you want to keep your video, 
you can keep it in a very large size but it's very 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 heavy so now we can play it So we solved the main uh, technical issue and uh, now we can turn our interest in the artistic uh, problems that this project can carry on. So uh, this, will be, uh, this will be during the next course and we shall talk about that. See you later.